Hey, good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. It is uh, coming down to the end of the year. So one of the things that we do uh, at the end of the month is we carve the new, or we try to carve the new template of the month for the next following month. So this is going to be the template of the month for January 2022, which uh, Vicky found this. Vicky, Vicky found this somewhere, and I kind of like it. Vector I think stock. vector stock, yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's pretty cool. So I am going to carve this. I I've laid it out a couple times, uh, a couple different ways, and I think the best way to go with this is the letters inset and then um, the actual starburst, whatever you want to call that shape, carve that outset. So I'm going to do that. It's uh, fairly small. I'm going to go ahead and lay it out. This one I've already obviously laid out once before. I'm not going to overspray, just small, short spurts. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it gives a really nice, crisp line. So I'm going to let that set for a few seconds, come back, and we're going to carve it. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes. It takes a little longer for that primer to dry uh, in this time of year. But uh, anyway, I've got it set right at an eighth of an inch. This, again, is my carving liner, and I think that's going to be about right to do these little letters inset. So let's see how it works. guys so I went ahead and finished up the new year and uh, again I kept uh, um, the carving liner bit and it carved really well this actually was a lot of fun to carve so now I've got the profile bit in um, and I've got it set at about 3 16 so I'm going to go around the outside and uh, then take out the leftovers on the inside of those inset letters so let's uh, get this done Alright guys, um, so Vicky just asked while the router was running, while I was doing that, Vicky asked a really interesting question. Why was I doing that uh, single line starting from the inside and coming out and doing each one single lines rather than just dropping in and going all the way around as one single line? Um, 
<laughs> and that was a really good question. I sometimes when I've got a uh, you know like jagged things like that, uh, like um, on the live to ride eagle. Sometimes it around the eagle head, it has that kind of a, a pattern. And I find sometimes now what I'll do is I think I'll do it the other way, coming down this way, and. What I what I answered to Vicky, gosh, I don't know if I can even um, articulate this. What I answered to Vicky is that I find that I can get in closer because I lift my router base. I can get in closer and I start shallow and then I I drop the depth as I go out and I feel like sometimes I can hold straighter lines jagged lines by doing that rather than just following the line all the way around let's find out if, if you maybe get in the inside there's where the point maybe more yeah closer there is that what you mean that's what I mean there and I feel like I can um I feel like I, I hold straighter individual lines rather than just if I, if I, and I'm going to do it right now. If I start here and go all the way around and just make it one continual line all the way around, I feel like um, it won't be as sharp and as straight a lines as if I do those individually um, like I did here, which takes a lot longer, but I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. All right, so there you go. And I think that um, it, it allows me to get in a little bit sharper. I like to go from the point and, and work my way out. Although I will say that those look pretty much as straight as these do. So I don't know, maybe it was just, you know, you guys, you have to kind of find your own rhythm. Again, that was a great question by Vicky, and it's probably one that you guys have out there that I do sometimes I do things by instinct and just the feel of how I feel at the time and um, I don't even think about it so I, those are great questions um, thank you for that question babe so um, I'm gonna now take out the rest of that inside stuff here we go So I set, um, I don't know if I talked about it. Maybe I missed that. That doesn't look, I think I need to go a little bit further there. I think from here to here, I missed this little spot right there. But I set it at about a quarter of an inch. I wanted a bigger fat line around there. Okay. Now I'm going to use my 90 in my cobalt router and I think I've got this set at about a quarter yeah that's set at about a quarter of an inch and uh, I'm gonna make a fatter line yet all the way around there here we go
All right, there it is. So I am just gonna brush that off, guys. I am gonna spray it with the primer. Again, this, the, the primer is what I use primarily. I can use the ink. If you have the ink, use the ink. But um, I'm gonna just make sure that that's all brushed out really good. I'm gonna spray it, let it dry, come back and we'll sand it off. Okay, let's sand it off. So I've got uh, my 80 on here. Again, sometimes I'll use 60 if it's a hard board, but this cedar, this is the cedar fencing. It's very, very soft. So I've just got an 80 on here. Let's do the first sand. Let's blow it off. All right, there it is, you guys. I'm really happy with that. I love that little design. So this is uh, one way to do it. I think it would be pretty difficult to make these outset letters and this to be background. I think that would be pretty difficult to do, and I think it looks better um, this way. But you might try it the other way and see what you think. So that is it for today. Uh, again, this is pretty quick one. This is something we do at the end of every month. If you guys don't know what the template of the month is, it is the template that goes to all the premium members. Everybody that's a premium member gets one of these templates. Every time we ship something to you every month, you'll get the template of the month that month for premium members and beyond. So anyway, um, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, if you need supplies, there's the website. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and click that little bell icon because we do four videos a week and uh, we got some really exciting stuff coming up. So uh, 2022 is going to be an amazing year. I hope you guys uh, stick with us and thank you for everybody that's been following along. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Hope you have a great new year and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.